it's hard to keep up with the Withings brand. The company made fitness trackers and other health-related products like Smart Scales from 2008 until 2016, when the company was bought out by Nokia and its range was rebranded as Nokia Health. Earlier in 2018, the company was bought back from Nokia by Eric Cariel, who originally owned the company and switched it all back to the Withings name. The first product released since that relaunch is remarkably similar to other trackers we've seen in the line before, it's called the Withings Steel HR Sport. It's a reworking of the existing Nokia Steel and Nokia Steel HR products, but thanks to connected GPS and the ability to estimate VO2 max, this new watch may be the closest the company has got to an impressive running companion. If you've seen the Nokia Steel or Nokia Steel HR before, you'll know what you're getting here with the Steel HR Sport. It's a similar design, which means it's a slim and small hybrid watch that won't take up lots of space on your wrist. The watch has a 40mm case that's made of stainless steel with a black bezel around the outside and the choice of a white or black watch face in the center. It feels premium to the touch, and it doesn't look like a big, blingy smartwatch. Instead this is much more understated, even when compared to some other hybrid smartwatches on the market. The watch face has numbers around the outside, as you'd expect, but there are two smaller circles inside the watch face that provide other information. There's a small display in the top one of these circles, and this is where you'll find all your stats. It's hard to keep up with the Withings brand. The company made fitness trackers and other health-related products like Smart Scales from 2008 until 2016, when the company was bought out by Nokia and its range was rebranded as Nokia Health. Earlier in 2008,